Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your full body complex with weights workout. So in this workout, we will work your entire body for strength and cardio using either a set of dumbbells or a kettlebell or both. If you have both, you can alternate between your rounds. As always, I will give you lots of different options, so listen to your body and work to your level. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you never miss a new workout here on the Body Fit by Amy YouTube channel. All you need for this workout are your weights and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start just by getting warmed up. You can march it, you can jog it, whatever is good for you. Let's get some rolls of the shoulders while we are moving those feet. This is a complex workout. So if you've done complex workouts before, I have a dumbbell and a kettlebell. Today we are combining them. A complex is just where you do a series of exercises with the same piece of equipment. Let's take it one at a time without putting that equipment down, right? So this workout, this format is similar to when we do AMRAP workouts, as many rounds as possible, or EMOM every minute on the minute. So it will feel a little similar and I know a lot of you guys have told me that you like those formats. Let's take it out side to side, step into it. So we're gonna have a good time with it and we're gonna alternate between our equipment. So again, if you only have dumbbells, I want you just to use those. If you only have kettlebells, just use the kettlebell. If you have both, we're gonna start with one and work our way to the other. Big reach, hinge it down. We're here to here. So once we've gotten this warm up, this movement prep, which we'll keep pretty short, reach it up, reach it down. I will show you your first moves in your first complex. And we're gonna go in three minute rounds. If you're able right here, I want you to walk this out into that inchworm to really fire up the core and stretch out through the back. Keep going at your own pace. If that's too much for you, you just keep the hinge, reach down. So we'll have three minute rounds. Reach it up, one more. And breathe. Let's take this one down. Take those knees, tap them across, if this is good for you. Otherwise, you can take this from a standing position. Again, core fired up, rotational movement through the torso. Good. And walk it back, round it up, and reach. Tap it back right here. Three minute rounds of that complex where you just repeat the complex. So very similar again to that AMRAP. Drop it down if you can. Either reach up or reach down. Reach up, drop that knee. Three, two, one. Other side, tap it back. Drop in the lunge if you can, reach up. Take it here, here. Three, two, one. One, let's get one more each side. This is a really great hip opener, but if you can't get down all the way, that's okay. Take it, three, two, one. Other side, reach, stay here or here. Three, two, one. Take it here, a couple rolls through your back. Flat back down, round it up. One more. Tap and reach across. All right, team, so. Getting into it, we will have four and then three exercises when we're using our kettlebell. We're gonna go one side at a time. When we use dumbbells, we'll use two. Reach it over. And again, they're gonna repeat. So you'll have eight reps of each, with the exception of a few, which will be half of that, which is four, but don't worry. We're gonna put it on the screen for you here, and I'm gonna talk you through it. Take those hamstrings up. So, your goal is to get a good flow we're not concerned about how fast you're going. I want quality over quantity with that movement, right? So again, it will feel similar to that every minute on the minute or AMRAP, but I don't want you to rush. I don't want you to sacrifice that form. I want you to make sure that you're getting full range of motion, that you're taking your time and you're really getting the most from that movement. All right, so go ahead, take it easy, Jax, either here or here. Whatever is good for you. Your first set of exercises, we're gonna start with our dumbbells. We're going plie squat, toes out. We got eight reps right here. Then we're gonna hinge it for a row. Eight reps right here, right? Then we're gonna take it, a curl, 
and a press, eight reps. So upper body heavy on this one. And then we're taking it across for eight, other side, across for eight. Make sense? All right, go ahead and catch your breath. Grab your dumbbells. Your goal is to hang onto those dumbbells the entire three minutes. If you need a break, certainly put them down in between. You can also do these movements without the weights. Heart rate's gonna stay up. Work at your own pace. Be where you are today. Go ahead and grab them. Get set up. We're starting with that nice, good plie squat. Core is engaged. Shoulders back. Zip up that core. Whew. Starting in three, two, plie squat for eight. Here we go. So if you don't feel like counting, you just switch when I switch. Totally fine. Drop the hips, squeeze up inner thighs, glutes, and core. If you're with me, we're switching to the row is next. So make sure you're giving yourself time to get that good form right into it. Not rushing. So you have time to set up. Time to get into and out of that move. Come all the way up, curl and press. So we're up, up, down, down. With these dumbbells, I'm gonna rotate them out, rotate them in, up. So it's your traditional curl, traditional press, because when we get to the kettlebell, we'll take it hammer. Up, how's that heart rate? All the way down. All the way up, I know. Yes, one minute down. Who take it here? Across eight. Yes, I know. Other side. It's a lot, but keep it moving. We are back to the top of here with me. Plie squat. Halfway there, a minute and a half. Breathe. And then guess what? We're gonna get a quick breather. We're gonna do all of it with the kettlebell, making things a little bit different. Good. Hinge for your row, flat back. Up. Squeeze in those shoulder blades. Let it drop. Don't forget about that core being engaged. Flat back. Straight line from your spine to your tailbone. Yes, take it here. Curl, press. One minute to go. How's that heart rate? I know. Can we get them all in? Yes. All the way through, one foot back if you feel like you're arching in your back. So we're making these complexes a little bit longer. That's intentional. Good. Take it across. Other side. Woo. I think you got time to get that plie in. Last time for eight. Work those legs. Yes. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Weights down, shake it out. Cardio mobility. Tap back, tap back. Tap back, reach back. So you know me, I like to put this cardio mobility in between some of our strength circuits. You need more of a breather. You just take a breather. If you can, keep it right here with me. So you're moving. Watch me with the kettlebell really quick. We're gonna do all of that with the kettlebell. We're gonna make it a little different. Our squat is our goblet squat. So holding it in that goblet grip, drop it low, bring it up. Our row, we're gonna alternate right and then left. Our curl and press, you can have two hands right here, or you can go four and four if you'd rather do one side at a time. Our knee cross, we're gonna take it to the side, alternate for eight. All right, grab your kettlebell, go ahead and breathe. Get ready, we're starting with that goblet squat. We got three minutes again, here we go for eight and breathe, yes. So when we switch kettlebell to dumbbell, we will add a few little changes just to mix it up. A lot of things will switch to one hand, 
with the kettlebell and we might switch up our foot placement like this squat. Take it row right here, set it up. Row and switch, flat back. Not rushing that form all the way through. Yes. Coming into that curl and press, if you're with me, get set up, two hands up, up, if you want. Or if you'd rather, you can do one hand, four and four. Yes. So back to basics, especially on these first two rounds. And then we're gonna take it to some compound movements for some complexes. One minute down, which you're gonna love. Alternate side knee, four, eight. Yes. Good, back to the top, get set up. Goblet squat. And breathe. Yes. Keep it going. Drive up through those heels. Drop the hips low, chest open and proud. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Alternate your row, flat back. Switch it. So I like to drop my kettlebell down in between, but it's up to you. If you just want to hand it off, to me that helps me get lower and get more of that pull. Curl and press. Two minutes down, one to go. And breathe. Yes. <laughs> Can we get it all in? We get our side knee cross alternating. Last one, if you're switching with me. Side knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's get that goblet squat, at least that, one more time. Bring it up, finish it out. If you don't finish out the whole complex, that's okay. It's a timed interval. And breathe. Zip up that core, finish it out, five seconds. Breathe, yes. Good, and relax. Ah, shake it out, grab a quick sip of water. <clears throat> We're gonna do some swings, guys, catch your breath. So that's what it looks like. We're gonna have another round coming up like that where we have the dumbbell and then we repeat with the kettlebell, but we mix it up a little bit. Next time is compound moves in that complex. Let's take it to a swing. I'm gonna start with my dumbbells. You can either do a skier swing with two dumbbells or one dumbbell kettlebell in the center or you can modify with the deadlift. If you've never done a swing before, you're not comfortable with it, or you're not feeling it today, keep it with the deadlift right here. Just right here. Otherwise, join me here. Roll those shoulders back. We're gonna get 30 seconds. Zip up the core, hinge, prep it, hike it back. Three, two, one, power it up. So think of it as a hinge, and then you're driving up and locking out. So really ground those feet into the floor. Press those feet flat into the floor. Open up the chest and breathe. And we're not arching at the top. We don't want to hyperextend. So even though you're thinking about connecting with the glutes, locking out the knees, we're not bringing it forward. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Ooh, pedal those feet Whew. and breathe shake it out a little cardio mobility after that let's take our hands behind take it here so catch your breath water if you need it or a little half squat stretch it out toy soldier kick keep it going watch me here team we're gonna take it for our next round starting with dumbbells then moving to kettlebell it's compound movement it's gonna get your heart rate up a little bit more but you can do it. We're gonna alternate our lunges. Lunge, row. You've got four. We're only going four of each. Then we're going to a curl, squat, and press, 
or if you're feeling it, you can make it a clean squat and press only four. Then we're taking it down. One dumbbell, you're pulling it through. Plank, pull through for eight total. You can take it here or you can think of it as four each side. You need to modify in your knees, modify in your knees. I know it's up and down, but you can do it and that is functional. We have to get up and down all the time in our daily life, so embrace it. Don't rush it. Go ahead, grab those dumbbells. Remember, this time, compound movements, a little higher heart rate, but we're gonna get it done. Four reps of each till that plank. Whew, then we got eight, but four on each side. Here we go, lunge and row for four. Lunge, row, and up. So take your time, flat back. You can always just do one of the movements if you need to modify. Curl, squat, press, or clean. And up, right? Only four, get low, get high. Yes, take it down. Give yourself time to get into that position. Knees if you need to, pull through, four, eight, seven, all the way through, reach under, take it across, shift your weight, yes, Whoo. good, bring it back up, however you get back up safely, almost one minute down, two to go, back to the top, here we go, lunge and row, and up. Lean into that lunge, flat back. Yes. Curl, squat and press, or clean squat and press. Here we go. Up, nice. Up. Two more. No, one more right here. Take it down, whoo, into that strong plank position. Core engaged, here we go. Reach under, reach. Yes, I do have an Elsa Band-Aid on my right hand. Cut myself, peeling apples for my kids. They should just eat the skin, right? I'm trying. Whoo, back up to the top, last minute. Can we get them all in with good form? Let's do it. Step it back, low lunge, and up. Drive up through, curl or clean, squat and press. Get that power if you want. Yes. Breathe. Good. We got 20 seconds to get that plank pull through. Strong plank, here we go, reach under, pull it through. Yes. Get it done. Woo. Right on time. Catch your breath, team. Move those dumbbells out of the way. Grab a quick sip if you need to. We're gonna do it all again with kettlebell. Three minutes and you can do it. All right, little cardio mobility. Let's shake it out. Little skater, keep it going. Watch me here. All we're gonna switch up, guys, is we're going single side with that lunge and row and we're gonna take it to a curtsy. We're gonna keep it stationary. So watch me curtsy if you can. We're up and down, four, three, two, one. Then we gotta go right to that other side, four, three, two, one. Our clean is a little toss, squat, and press. Or again, you can just do curl, squat, and press. Then our plank pull through. You really gotta lay it down, it's tricky. Pull it through all the way if you can. If you wanna do it without, that works too. Go ahead, bring it up. Get set up in that lunge. Three minutes, starts now, curtsy. Down and up, yes, flat back, push out of the heel, set up on that other side, here we go. So give yourself time 
to set up. Yes. Clean, squat, and press. Drop it down. Or curl, squat, and press. Whatever's good for you. Really get low in that squat. Yes. Good. Drop it down. You can lay that kettlebell down. Really drag it through. Whew. Drag it through. You can also keep it upright like this or drag it down. Just watch those fingers. Whatever's better for you. Knees if you need to. Yes. Bring it up. One minute down. Two to go. Get set up. Curtsy and row. Four and four. Here we go. So notice I'm taking a few seconds to catch my breath. That's totally fine. Even though it's a complex, you do you. Be where you are today. Remember, you showed up today. You're successful. <sighs> if you can't even say those words because you're out of breath, you're succeeding. So don't worry about the rest. Take your time. Good form. <sighs> yes. Good. We've got curl, squat, and press or clean. Good, get it done. Yes. Whew. Drop it down, pull it through right here. Strong plank, reach under, reach under. Yes. Back to the top. Last minute. We're doing it. Get it done. Here we go. Drive through the heel. Squeeze in those shoulder blades. Other side. Good. Clean, squat, and press. Up or curl. Yes. Blanket, you got 10 seconds. How many can you get in? Can you get four, three, two, one? Yes, catch your breath. Ha, you did it, team. Whew. Breathe it out. Ha. Stretch out those hip flexors on your knees. One of the things I love about oh, being on the knees, right? Woo, get it done. All right, guys, we're gonna swing it again. This time, if you wanna take it to that kettlebell, you can, or keep it with the dumbbells. Swing whatever feels best for you. And again, if you need to modify, deadlift works as well. We're gonna get 30 seconds. We're gonna make it good. Zip up that core, lock out at the top, straight up and down, shoulders back, prep it. Here we go, three, two, power. Drive it up. Remember, you do not have to use your arms. Your arms are along for the ride. We are not lifting with the arms. We're getting the power from the back of the legs, the glutes, the core. Breathe, keep it going. Good, up. There we go. Four, three, press into those feet, two. And relax. Pedal your feet. Good work, team. Catch your breath. Bring it down to the mat with me. Woo. We're gonna get it done. Ha! Dumbbells and kettlebells. We got one circuit on the mat. It's gonna go quick. You're gonna love it. All right, guys. We've got our press into triceps. Woo. So we're gonna keep our weights together. We're gonna go up, we're gonna go down. We're gonna keep them together the whole time. Whew. Then we're gonna take it feet up. Watch me here, you're gonna push into the weights, one or two. You're gonna lower one, two, and then both down. If you're modifying, I just want you just to get the stretch, the stretch, just like that. Then 
We're gonna take it to our side plank. We've got four lifts each side, all right? So, we're going four, eight, and four. Don't think too hard on it, just get it done. Switch with me if you need to. Ready, three minutes, here we go. So we're press, tries, only four. Press, tries, whoo, up, up. One more. Hold them up if you can, we've got eight. Modify if you need to, off the ground. Or keeping one foot on the ground. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to be going two. That's all right. So I guess we'll get nine. <laughs> sorry, guys. Over on your side, let's go up. How about we just do four sets of that all the way through. Other side, or just alternate. Four, three, two, good. Back to the top, one minute down. Here we go, close press, up, tries. If you wanna have those feet up or up in a bridge, that works too, up to you. Only four, one more, good, keep them up. <laughs> Let's just alternate one at a time so we can count an even eight. Don't stress too much about it. Push those weights into each other, four, three, two good take it over to your side you got four and four knees or toes lift four get into that good position three two other side take it here lift four three two back to the top we got almost one minute to go Let's keep it going, here we go. Up, bridge or lift. Good, up. One more. Yes, keep them up there, lower those legs. Breathe. Good. Yes. Over on to your side. 30 seconds left. Here we go. Up, four, three, two, one. Flip it over, other side. Lift four, three, two, good. Back to the top. Here we go, close press. Up, tries. If you wanna have those feet up, or up in a bridge, that works too. Up to you, only four. One more, and relax. Yes, team. All right, let's get it done with that kettlebell. We're gonna go right into it. Keep everything you just did, starting in three, two, one. Whew, here we go, up and down and breathe, I know we went right into it, but you can do it, you're strong. Up, last one, hold it up, this time both legs down, and up for four, breathe, yes! Let's get that core going, Ha! here we go, lift, Roll it over, other side, take it here, lift. Good, back to the top, guys. Add that bridge if you can. Take it up, and triceps. Four, yes. I know, on these complexes, that's where these little muscles like our tries really start to burn. Take them down both feet if you can. If you're modifying, just take it with the stretch. Keep one foot on the ground. Breathe. Side plank. Whoo. Turn it in. Up. Good. 
I know, it feels like a lot of time to be down on the mat because we normally don't spend as much time unless we're going back and forth, right? Ha! You got just over a minute to go. Let's make it good. Here we go, team. Nice and strong. Press and press. Four of everything. Here we go. Slow push into that kettlebell to activate that core even more. Yes! Breathe, side, plank. Let's get it done. Here we go. Breathe. Good. Roll through, other side. Nice, good setup. Lift and lower, here we go. Good, back to the top. Last 20 seconds, whatever you got, give it to me. Up, tries, breathe, yes. Five, four, three, two, one, yes. Bring it up to the top, team. One more time with your swing. You pick kettlebell or dumbbells. I know that was a long time on the mat, but we got a lot of core, a lot of upper. Let's finish it out right here. Roll those shoulders back. Get ready to hike it. You've got 30 seconds. I want this to be your best round of swings yet. Drive it back, lock it out, let it drop. Prep it, here we go. Three, two, power, and breathe. Keep it going. Zip up in that core. Relax those arms. Drive it up. Glue those feet into the floor. Back and core, along with those glutes. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. And relax. Yes, stretch it out. All right, team. Woo. Who's ready for a bonus move? Let's do it. One last minute. I want you to put your kettlebell on one side of the room, one dumbbell on the other. We're gonna shuffle in between, one's upper, one's lower, cardio in the center. I'm gonna give you some options for some core. Watch me, you're gonna take it here, you're gonna snatch, or you're gonna do a high pull, whatever is better for you. Then you're gonna shuffle it, and you're gonna bring it up, and you're gonna get four of these. Four squats, four snatches. Take it back and forth, when I call it, if you wanna add a little pop back right in the middle four times for some extra core, we're gonna do it, but it's optional. Are you with me? I think you are. So four snatches or four high pulls alternating. Bring it over, four squats, toes out, toes in, whatever you got. Here we go, last minute, take off, snatch it, or high pull. Shuffle, get low, squat it, get set. Four, three, two. I know we're tired of squats, but you can do it. Shuffle, snatch. Halfway there. Shuffle to the center. Pop it back. Four, three, two, one. Shuffle. Squat it, bring it up, ha, four, three, whew, two, take it center, right here, pop it back, four, three, two, last one, whoo, you did it, ha, shake it out, good work. Everybody grab a quick sip of water. Yes, you did it. I'm so proud. So, shake it out. Make sure that you like this video and let me know what you thought in the comments. I know a lot of you have told me 
Woo, let that heart rate come down. That you're liking these different types of formats, AMRAP, EMOM, complex, because it's a different way to mix up our basic moves, right? So you know I love back to basics, because those squats, our lunges, our planks, our push, our pull, all of that is so important. It's functional, it works a lot of movement, a lot of muscles, which is why we love it. But I'm always trying to keep things fresh and new and get creative for you guys. So this is a way we can have some of those moves that you know if you've been working out for a while, let's stretch it out here. But when we're working against the clock and not worried about anything else. So, and I've been doing a few lately like this where we have one round that's an isolation, just one move, bring it up right here. And then we take a second round with our favorite compound moves, right? Moves quickly, whoo, but it moves fast, right? Just like Tabata, stretch it over. So make sure you let me know what you thought. Don't forget to subscribe when you subscribe. That helps me keep making completely free workouts for you here on YouTube. Turn on that little bell, those notifications, and then you always know when something new is coming up, when a live workout is coming up. And of course, whoo, don't forget, crossover if you can, grab on if you need to or sit to do it to get that hip stretch. Don't forget to also follow me on social media at Body Fit by Amy so you don't miss a beat. And of course, if you're looking for more support and accountability, click the link in the description, join the Body Fit Athletic Club, and you can find out lots of other information on my website, bodyfitbyamy.com, of what I have to offer for you. My goal is to get you to just show up and move your body. That is what we are here to do. Nothing else matters. We want to be strong. We want to be healthy. We want to keep showing up for ourselves and the ones that we love. That is what it is about. So keep moving, people. I'm so glad that you showed up here today with me. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your full body complex with weights workout. Great job, everybody.